10,000 XRP or 20,000 XLM. One of the most debated topics around the community and today I'm going to be uncovering it for you guys and giving you guys the clear straightforward answer in this short video. But first let us look back at the history of both of these two crucial competitive crypto coins. XRP first founded in 2011 as the XRP Ledger Development Company started off with three main developers, David Schwartz, Jed McCaleb and Arthur Brudeau. The three developers first released XRP, the native token of the XRP Ledger in 2012. Now many people may not have known that at the time XRP was actually originally to be called Ripples and that's what triggered the name in 2013 OpenCoin which was the foundation that, that opened the XRP Ledger and created the XRP coin to be labeled as Ripple Lab. The main focus of Ripple Labs was to use XRP the token to revolutionize the global financial system. Chris Larson the co-founder of Ripple at the time had made it clear that he never thought blockchain technology should be used to overthrow the existing financial system but rather to better and transform it as well as innovate it to make it more reliable. Shifting to Stellar which was founded in the year of 2014 by Jed McCaleb who also had actually founded Ripple was built on the basis of facilitating payments between different institutions and real-time payments with the purpose of decentralization. Now it's widely known that Jed McCaleb, the founder of XLM, had an altercation with Ripple's current leadership making him decide that creating the XLM Foundation, also known as the Stellar Foundation, a more viable option for him. Looking at the technical charts aspect of both of these coins, XRP at a current price of 46.67 per coin has a market cap of approximately $24 billion with a market volume in the last 24 hours of 460 million. The circulating supply for the XRP coin is around 52 billion with a total max supply of 100 billion as well. Stellar XLM on the other hand carries a price of 0.09 cents, a market cap of 2 billion and a fully diluted market cap of around 4.9 billion. The total 24 hour volume is around 34 million and the max supply for XLM is around 50 billion with 27 billion being in circulating supply. XRP and XLM have been quite widely known as the two biggest financial coins within the space. An example of this is when the Federal Reserve publicly announced their FedNav system will be containing a blockchain aspect, XRP and XLM were labeled as the coins that FedNow, also known as the Federal Reserve, may use for their service. All right, now before we move forward, I wanna announce that I'm doing an X XRP giveaway once we hit 20,000 subscribers. So all you have to do to enter is subscribe to the channel, smash the like button, and drop a comment down below. That being said, let's head right back into the video. Another example of this was when Swift decided that they wanted to integrate a crypto coin for their blockchain aspect. They labeled only two companies, Ripple and Stellar. And to top it all off, on the ISO 222 compliant crypto coins for the financial and banking industry, two crypto Crypto coins were labeled so closely together, that being Ripple XRP and Stellar XLM. So there's clearly a correlation between Ripple, Stellar, and XRP and XLM. And there is high competition between these two coins. Specifically, an example of this was back on March 8th of 2021, when a blockchain firm, Ripple, ended its partnership with MoneyGram, one of the cross-border payment companies. This was due to a lawsuit by the SEC, deeming XRP a secure. Security. And fast forward a couple weeks from then, MoneyGram officially partners with Stellar to facilitate their payments instead of Ripple. So we've talked about Ripple, we've talked about Stellar XLM, and we've talked about their two crypto coins, XRP and XLM. But should you own 10,000 XRP? or 20,000 XLM. Before we answer this question right to you guys, I wanna make sure it's clear that I am not a financial or legal advisor, so nothing I say in this video is financial or legal advice. That being said, we're gonna go ahead and roll the sponsor for today's video and then jump right into answering this question to you guys first. Now, before we move further into this video, if you're trying to make yourself a ton of XRP by staking it, you have to use Dexpool, which is linked in the description. Now, I do wanna say that they just sponsored this video, but they are actually one of the greatest platforms 
forms that I personally use to stake my XRP, and I've been sticking with them for some time. Now keep in mind, they give you your profits every single eight hours and have over $386 million in total protocol liquidity, and that's increasing on a daily basis. They also have over 383 pairs and feature all of the top cryptocurrencies, including some of these smaller ones as well, so you can basically stake any cryptocurrency that you hold. And to top it off for you guys, they're doing a 100x RP liquidity bonus, in which you get a 10-day liquidity bonus. The offer is limited, and make sure you guys take advantage of this. Again, the link is down in the description. They have a bunch of options like top up, withdraw, and view transactions, and it is extremely simple to do all of this, and you can actually complete it in only a few clicks. I personally have not only been able to withdraw my profits, but also my initial investment, and they allow you to unlock your liquidity at any point in time and reap the rewards still that you have gained, so you basically don't lose. That being said, make sure you guys do use the link in the description and let's get right back into the video. One of the main things that differentiates Stellar XLM and XRP Ripple is actually the fact that they both facilitate payments but the level of payments that they facilitate differentiate. This matter of fact has been made clear on both of their sites. The Stellar.org website deems Stellar to be a micro payment service that powers cross-border payments of any size with Stellar's low flat fee and fast transactions. Stellar focuses on retail payments, to which it allows you to send and trade digital representatives of all forms of money like dollars, pesos, bitcoins, and pretty much anything. It's an open network for storing and moving your money. Ripple, on the other hand, is a business impact powered by crypto. With a main purpose of a crypto solution built for businesses and government. With the leading focus being innovation for financial institutions, businesses and governments through the form of cross-border payments, crypto liquidity and central bank digital currencies. So while both Ripple and Stellar do the same purpose of facilitating payments, Stellar is focused on more retail person-to-person -person transactions while Ripple is focused on financial institutions, businesses and government transactions. And so we can see how there's substantially more money within the government sector and within the business sector than within person-to-person -person retail hands. And so I personally believe because the government sector is way more financially capable and businesses have typically substantially more money than person-to-person -person and an individual, I would say owning 10,000 XRP is going to be more valuable than 20,000 XLM. Now, of course, there is no guarantees to anything and it could be the complete opposite to where XLM ends up surpassing the value of XRP. But as of now, due to my analysis, that I personally done and my personal opinion, I believe I would take 10,000 XRP rather than 20,000 XLM. If you did enjoy these videos to where I compare different cryptocurrencies, make sure you do hit that subscribe button, you smash the like button, and you drop a comment down below. And of course, make sure you're always following me on my social media links, which are linked in the description. Thank you so much, and I'll see you next time. Peace.